baptize today. You should have an insert in your bulletin with the baptismal service on it, and you will be asked to respond at the appropriate times. After the worship service, we will have a celebration reception over in the hospitality room. Please plan to stay and welcome the children as baptized members of the family of faith. The Meet the Apostles class will not meet today, but will finish up next Sunday. And our heartfelt thanks go out to Duke for all of his hard work and research into this class. And it has been such fun and so informative. So thank you again, Mr. Duke. We are offering the opportunity to use our shower to those who are unhoused in our community. This will be offered on Mondays and Wednesdays from 1 to 3 p.m. If you would like to volunteer to help with this ministry, please see Karen to schedule a time. The Arkansas Presbytery has an intercessory program wherein we pray together for congregations and church workers in our state. This week, we will be praying for Grace Presbyterian Church in Little Rock and First Presbyterian in Malvern. Now, I invite you all to prepare for worship with a moment of silence. desires to hear our prayers as scripture tells us that we are to pray for one another and the needs of the world. If you have prayer concerns or joys, please put them on the index card that you find in the front of your pew and they will be picked up after this sermon. Now let's sing the intro at 831. I depend upon your faithfulness.
call to worship. Come all who are thirsty. Come, Come to the waters of life. Christ is the fountain of life. Those who drink that fountain will never thirst. Come, let us drink even of God's great love. Let us worship God. In 475. us as God's own children. God showers us with love and offers forgiveness over and over again. In the waters of baptism, we learn the life in the grace of God. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God.
God in Christ has forgiven us, let us pass the peace to one another. The peace of Christ be with you all. And, and also, also with, with you. you. shell just like the one in the painting. It looks like the one up there. When you look at that shell, I want you to remember your baptism and remember that you are always in God's care and are a part of God's family. So I'd like to say a little prayer. Thank you, God, for this day, for giving me the courage to ask for baptism. I know you've loved me and always have. I didn't know it was mommy. Yeah, good. This is my way of saying I love you too, God, and I believe in you. Let my faith lead others to know that they too are children of God, and they are loved by you. Amen. Thank you for coming up. Our first scripture reading this morning is Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good. 
His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Our second scripture reading is from John 4, verses 7 through 14. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone to the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jews do not share things in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us the well, and with his sons and his flocks drank from it? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Four baptisms today. What a special day. But why is it so special? What meaning does baptism have for those who have been baptized and for those who are being baptized today? Let's start with the water. Water is life-giving and refreshing. We have to have water to survive, and it enlivens us and gives us energy. Not only people, but plants and animals also need water to live and grow. Water is also cleansing. We use it to bathe our bodies, clean our dishes, and wash our cars. It wipes away dirt and makes everything fresh and new. Water is also energizing. Whether swimming, wading, or just splashing in the water, you can be revived and recharged. Water is a precious gift, and so it's appropriate that water is used as a symbol of what God does for us in baptism. In baptism, the love of God is poured out for us through Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus tells the woman at the well, those who drink of this water that I give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give them will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. The waters of baptism are not magic, but demonstrate how God showers us with love. We are cleansed and forgiven. We are given new life and enlivened to live an abundant life. Jesus offers the gift of living water through the waters of baptism. Baptism also symbolizes Jesus' death and resurrection. In baptism, we give up our old life and are given new life in Jesus. Jesus conquered death and the power of sin through his resurrection. We are alive in him and are free from the power of sin forever. In baptism, we are also sealed by the Holy Spirit. When something is sealed, it is securely connected with something else. Ephesians 1.13 tells us, In him you also were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. What does it mean to be marked with the seal? When we mail a letter today, we usually seal it with the glue on the envelope. But for thousands of years, people have sealed documents in other ways, sometimes with clay or wax. Then they put designs on the clay or wax to prove that the letter was authentic and to show ownership. In baptism, God seals us and marks us as God's own. We belong to God, and this is a seal which cannot be broken. We are also joined with God and with God's people in baptism. We are connected through Jesus Christ, and we are all children of God on equal footing, no one above the other. Hear these words from Galatians 3. For in Christ Jesus you are all children of God through faith. As many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek, there is no longer slave or free, there is no longer male and female, all of you are one in Christ Jesus. God's gift of covenant love is extended to all people, 
and to all ages. God claims people in love even before they are able to respond in faith. When we baptize our young children, we affirm that we depend on God, not ourselves. We do not have to have an abundance of wisdom or knowledge of God. We do not have to be without sin or even extremely good to be accepted by God. Our covenant with God is dependent on God, not on us. God's faithfulness is unwavering even when our faithfulness to God falters. God's grace toward us is unending and so there is no need to repeat baptism. Throughout our lives, we may falter, but God's love for us never fails. The grace of God is continually at work within us and we are sealed in Christ Jesus forever. I mentioned to Elizabeth Brinegar that we would be baptizing Palmer, Ellie, Miles, and Bo today, and she was very excited. She mentioned that when she would baptize someone, she would write a letter to them to be read in worship. She graciously agreed to share one of her letters. Borrowing from her idea and some of her thoughts, here is a letter for those being baptized today. May it remind all of us of the meaning of our baptism and our responsibility to each other as members of the family of God. Dear Ellie, Miles, Palmer, and Bo, you are going to be baptized today, and this is the beginning of a new chapter of your life. That might not sound like such a big deal to you, but it's pretty important. People will take your pictures, and I will put some water on your heads, but it's so much more than these things because we all will make some really big promises to all of you. Promises I hope will help you when you feel alone and need someone to turn to. God claimed you as his own child even before you were born, and indeed you belong to God, the one who loves us so much that he makes a covenant with us. He seals us in his love. You belong to the one who loves you more than you can ever begin to imagine. You are wonderfully and perfectly made by the one who will never leave you or forsake you. And that's why we're here today. Ellie and Miles, you ask to be baptized and you will profess your faith. Palmer and Bo, your parents want you to be baptized. By professing their faith, they make promises to all of you. They promise that you will grow up knowing the love and support of a church family. They will teach you Bible stories. They will make sure you know how much God loves you. They will raise you to be young women and men of faith who love God, love your neighbors, and love yourselves. Your parents are promising that they will always love you and seek what is best for you even when hard days come, especially your teenage years. Even when they are tired and weary, they will rise up on wings like eagles because God will support them. But not only are your parents making promises to you, the rest of us will too. I know that you have a wonderful family, but today we promise that we are your family too. Even though you don't live here anymore, we will still love you and support you. And we make promises for the whole family of God, so that wherever you go and to whatever church you connect with, the community of faith will support and encourage you. And if you need this community, we are only a phone call away. Because we love you. We may not all be your blood family, but you are our children too. Bo, Miles, Palmer, and Ellie, I hope you know that you are surrounded by so very great a cloud of witnesses. You are held up by the community of faith that stretches longer and wider than the membership of this particular congregation. You are held in faith and prayer by all the faithful disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ in every time and place. And we pray that you will run the race with endurance that has been set before you. It won't always be easy. Sometimes it will be really hard. But we'll be there then too, because that's what family is all about. You're there for the good times and the bad times. You stick together through all of it, and you finish the race. Remember, you won't ever be alone. You will have the community of faith, and more than that, you will have God. Before you were born, God chose you. You have always been God's precious children. 
God knit each of you together in your mother's womb. God called you by name. God made plans for your futures, plans to give you hope. You are God's. And this morning, we claim that to be true. We stand together as the community of faith and embrace with you the love of God because you belong to God. So today, we promise that we will love you for your whole life. We promise that we will lift you up in prayer as you go through the mountains and valleys of life. We promise that we will point you in the right direction when you lose your way. We promise that we will tell you the truth even when you don't want to hear it. We promise that we will be there for you in the good times and the bad times. We promise that we will share your sorrow and we promise that we will multiply your joy. We make these promises in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ but we do more than promise, for we also believe. And we know that God will be there with you and will not let you go. God's love is strong and will keep you sealed in his covenant forever. We know that God is gracious and loving and will hear our prayers for each of you as you begin this journey today. So today I pray that you will know how very special you are. I pray that you will feel the love of these wonderful people today and tomorrow and for the rest of your lives. I pray that you will know that God is very real and a living presence in you. I pray that you will endure the hardships and trials that are coming with grace and dignity. And if you don't, I pray that you will forgive yourself and accept God's forgiveness too. I pray that you won't be too hard on your parents. I pray that you will forgive us when we let you down. I pray that you will know the power of the Holy Spirit. And I pray that our Lord Jesus Christ will work in your lives in ways that we cannot begin to imagine, but in a way that will make everything new every day of your lives. In Christ's love, Mary Jane and the congregation of First Presbyterian Church.
All that we have and all that we are is a gift from God. Let us then give back a portion of that goodness to God's work in the world. Let us pray. Gracious God, we offer these gifts to you. May they be used to bring grace and healing to this hurting world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Christ 
promised to guide and nurture Ellie, Miles, Palmer, and Bo by word and deed, with love and prayer. Do you? We do. Will you encourage them to know and follow Christ and to be faithful members of his church? Will you? We I will. will. Through the sacrament of baptism, we enter the covenant God established in Jesus Christ. Within this covenant, God gives us new life, strengthens us to resist evil, and nurtures us in love. Through this covenant, we choose whom we will serve by turning from evil and turning to Jesus Christ. Ellie, Miles, Sarah, and Ben, trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn from the ways of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world? Do you? Who is your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Will you be Christ's faithful disciple, obeying his word and showing his love? Will you, with God's help? I will, with God's help. Will you devote yourself to the church's teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and prayers? Will you, with God's help? Holy God, you are the creator of the waters of the earth. You are the fire of rebirth. You poured out your spirit on your people Israel. You breathe life into our dry bones. Your son Jesus promised to send the spirit to us so that the world may know your peace and truth. Pour out your spirit upon us and upon this water. Breathe new life into those who are baptized. By your Holy Spirit, adopt us all as your children through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Let us pray. O Lord, uphold Ellie, Miles, Palmer, and Bo by your Holy Spirit. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Miles, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Ellie, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked in Christ Jesus forever. Amen. Bo, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Palmer, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Margot's going to uh, say a welcome to you. Ellen, Miles, Palmer, and Bo, you have been received into one holy, universal, and apostolic church through baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you have become members of the household of God to share with us in the ministry of Christ and the priesthood of all believers. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you into the body of Christ 
By your Spirit, unite us with Christ and one another until we feast with him and all your saints in the eternal realm of justice and peace. As this bread is Christ's body for us, send us out to be the body of Christ in the world. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours, Almighty God, now and forever. As your children, we bring these requests before you. For Marcia Shell, Diane Wilson, Jeannie Price and family, Gail Phillips, Joe Pennington, the Hargis family, Bob Buchanan, Billy Ann Myers, Rosemary Burks, Tony Holder, Ron Quisenberry, Ellie Miles Palmer and Bo, the leaders of our city, state, and nation, people affected by natural disasters, peace for those affected by wars, for safe travel for the Clink family, for those impacted by the hurricane, for those trapped in war zones, for Larry Deadman. We know that you hear these prayers and we thank you, God. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <coughs> Kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. The Lord Jesus, on the night of his arrest, took bread, and after giving thanks to God, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the saving death of the risen Lord until he comes again. The gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. bread of life and cup of salvation, you have united us with Christ, making us one with all your people. Now send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us stand and sing together. Number 482. Did I miss the Lord's Prayer? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 